as you might have seen from some of our previous videos and reading our website um, we like lots of things um, including water sports canoeing and stand-up paddle boarding and we've done a, a fair bit of stand-up paddle boarding um, and I know speaking to some of you out there I know that's something you've been looking to get into too maybe when you go camping um, as well and I know some of you have asked us to review some stand-up paddle boards well um, a UK company um, called Bluefin has sent us one of their popular um, paddle boards, the Cruise. Um, so I'm going to unbox it now. I've not had a look at this yet. Um, it certainly looks very good from looking at the website. I know they do a number of different sizes, including a tandem, which um, if maybe you've got small kids, that could be a perfect um, extra large paddle board to um, ferry some smaller children around on but yes they send us that and they sent us this um, uh, release um, quick release utility belt so we're going to open this up have a have a look at it here um, but obviously the real test is going to be getting it out on the water okay so quite a big box with the uh, blue fin logo on the tape nice touch um, let's pull this off very sticky tape. You know, this is where you could use a knife, say, to cut the tape, but the last thing I want to do is uh, an inflatable stand up paddleboard, puncture it, <laughs> and open the packet. So uh, this does peel off nice and easy, and we'll see what's inside. So, yeah, there's a Bluefin um, UK company uh, makes paddleboards, so a ship worldwide. So if you're not in the UK, you, you might still find bluefin paddle boards uh, around. Um, they're quite popular. And they do a number of different types of pa paddle boards, you know, from all the more specialist to the more sort of generalist. Um, the cruise one is their sort of most popular, very flexible, versatile. Uh, so very popular with families. So whilst I make a meal of opening this there we go so let's look inside so first thing is the bag it comes with so everything comes in a carrier bag you can carry down so if you look at that that is one huge rucksack so that's that's really good actually um, we've had similar things before and you end up with a, a bag that can be quite awkward to carry. Um, but if you've got to trek some way to the water, one that you can strap on like this is, is very good. Um, just a quick look at this. You've got padded straps. You've got um, feet if you want to stand it upright and a drainage hole. Very good, very good idea. Um, extra pouch down the side with straps. I wonder whether that's for the paddle. Um, there's one on the other side too. Um, extra pocket in here, so let's open this thing up, shall we? Have a look. One bag there. And then some compression straps on the side for afterwards for keeping it all nice and tight. Okay, nice big chunky zip. Feels solid here. Little rubber pulls on the zip. Looks very solid looking back. Oh, reinforced inside as well. Um, another strap there to tie everything down. So, another one up on. So, it might be hard to fit all in the, in the shop, but this is actually a massive, massive bag. So, we'll fill that up with the items. What else have we got in here? Oh my, this is really handy. Um, so this comes with a dry bag. Um, so that is very handy. Uh, make sure your keys, phones and, and what else are always protected. We've got um, a fair few dry bags and things, but to actually have a set with everything coming with it is, is really good. Um, and there's a warranty as well. 
Okay, I shall look at that later. That's a nice addition in the pack. I wasn't expecting that. That's very good. This is normally where you've got your patches, I suppose. Yes, so here's, here's the valve tightener. Um, if any of you've got inflatable tents or inflatable canoes, the same sort of thing you use on that. And it looks like you've got a patch, a repair patch in here. There we go. Big repair patch. Um, it's a handy little container. I'm going to see what's in some of these bits and pieces in, in this bag here. It's all nicely packed, I must say. It's nice to see um, paper packaging, a lot less plastic waste. Something we're all very conscious of these days. And what have we got in here? We've got the fin, the blue fin no less, and a spare clip to clip it in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spares in the little storage pot. It's always a good idea. Okay, so that's one bag done. Okay, let's have a look, see what's in here. Is this another fin? Yep, another fin, and has it got another spare? Clip in here, yep, there we go, another spare. We'll put those away in there. So two blue fins. Let's have a look at the next. The next parcel. This is the main big fin. There we go. Look at that one. That's good. So, um, you know, you might have seen some of our other bits and pieces we've we've had before, uh, canoes, and other sort of very cheap sup. This this feels like a proper, really good quality fin. Um, looks like it's not going to get damaged that easily. Um, that's a very good fin. I'm impressed with that. <laughs> I can get impressed with a fin, you might ask, but um, that is that is very good. Um, sometimes they're just bits of cheap plastic on cheaper models, um, but uh, that looks very good. And of course, uh, another spare clip. Always useful to have. Okay, so we've got our three fins as opposed to one. So extra directional control. And let's have a look in here. Now this in here, uh, what this is going to be. Is this the pump? It is the pump. There we go. So, oh, nice little self-contained package. Um, see there, we got pressure gauge built in. Inflate, exflate, exflate, <laughs> deflate. <laughs> um, to valve on there, to make it harder or easier. A little stand, I'm not gonna get that out just yet and I'll do it all, oh, I'm just gonna put that back in his bag for the time being. Um, because what we'll do, what I wanna do is do a test inflate in a bit. And make sure everything is good. We'll take it in the water. Now, the next item I can see, pretty obvious what that is. That's the leash. Um, in its little package. There we go. Again, not plastic, cardboard packaging, so that's good. A very good bonus. There we go. It's a nice looking strong leash. And um, of course, this is the bit you put around your ankle and um, so you don't get separated from your board if you fall in, um, which does happen from time to time, all part of the fun. And this is the bit that you secure onto your board. Right, now this looks paddle shaped. Let's have a look here. Yes. Look at this paddle. So a nice paddle with adjustments for different heights on here. Here's the handle end. 
And this one might need some scissors to get that teeth off and slide it off the end. Now, yeah, there we go. There we are with the rubber handle. That feels a uh, quite a comfortable grip actually on that. Um, right shape for paddle boarding. And then let's look at the main paddle blade here. This is where you see me struggling with the packaging. This always happens when you're unboxing, doesn't it? Yeah. Should be the end of the tape somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> okay, I might need to get something to cut that. Nope, it's not coming off. What we'll do, we just pull that off and I'll slide it off the end. If in doubt. There we go. Oh, that looks a nice paddle. There. That's a nice paddle. Um, it's got good shape to it for paddle boarding. You see the contours of it? That's a, that's a nice paddle. Good. Okay, let's put the paddle to one side. And now we're getting on to the board itself. So, intriguing, he's got a big strap there and it's in a separate little box. Let's see if that comes up. Oh, look at that. Oh. Warranty and breakdown cover. It's always nice to see when um, vendors put a warranty on because you know they're standing behind their product. Um, and as you can see here, you've got a packed uh, with a nice compression strap. If I can just get that out. There we go. So we're going to start and do that. That's going to be useful for packaging putting it in its bag. Now, let's see the color of this. It should be a nice bright one. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, I think I'm gonna roll this onto the lawn so we can get a really good look at it. As you see, this is a nice bright color. Yeah. If anyone was on a paddleboard to get into trouble, this would be easily spotted. Um, there we are. Cruise. Nice rubber area for standing on. This is an attachment you can get. So one of the things um, why this is also maybe um, really interesting for families here is you've got this what they call the kayak seat attachment um, so basically um, you can get from bluefin a uh, seat that just clips on the top here and you can immediately turn a stand-up puddle board into a sit on top kayak um, which gives a bit more flexibility out of buying this paddle board you can use it as a sit on top kayak it also means that those that don't like to stand on the paddle board and there's, there's some people that don't can easily still get use out of it and just sit down on it um, with the seat. Um, so, so that's a really nice addition. Um, I also like the fact that they've actually also got built-in uh, webbing here on the front. This is a really nice uh, addition too. Um, this is often where you, you shove your large dry bags um, and things like that for other items, coats and jackets and, and other things. Um, but yeah, that looks a really good size um, board. And uh, I've not looked at the underside yet. Let's just turn that over. And uh, this is obviously where the um, fins clip in. Um, and here we go. This must be the clip adjustment that we lift and insert the lock paddle in place that we had spares with. And here's for the two 
smaller fins. So three pins fins on the back, which is very good. Um, nice soft padded strap for holding there and here. Obviously on the front, this is the main strap. You usually carry it down with you, hold it there and the board on your arm. And uh, we've got another one at the nose here too. And a nice big tow hook if you need it too. Um, yeah, that looks, uh, that looks really good. So, uh, yeah, desperate to try and uh, get it out on the water. So I'm just doing a test inflate of the board and setting it up. Um, and these go in uh, very straightforward actually. So that lumpy bit there goes into the slot. Push it all the way down and push it in place and then just pull the tab down to lock. And that's locked in place. That's a really nice design. So one of the things to do with all of the um, any vegetable things, you get it from the factory and you occasionally need to do it every now and then is just make sure that the valve's seated nice and tight and is ready for inflation. So that deflates, that's inflated, so that's all nice and tight. Um, if you've got inflatable tents or variable canoes, again, same thing applies. Sometimes if your tent's letting out a bit of air, just make sure the um, valve's tight, same on this, make sure it's tight. And obviously because this lets in uh, let's air out and let us air in just make sure it's clean and there's no if you take it on the sea you know seaweed and stuff like that blocking it up so here's the pump set up now um seems a good sturdy pump actually um this is one of the dual capacity uh pumps you've seen some of these on um other things these days like inflatable tents as well um so basically that's going to pump twice as much air in one pump but if you find that a little bit hard just undo that and then it just be as a single pump and that's a lot easier to pump. So you've got a two modes, easy, longer, harder and faster. So yep, two modes and then that end just locks in place on the valve. Um, it says nice and clearly on here what the PSI should be. If you can see that there, recommended 15 to 18 PSI. Okay, so we're gonna give it a bit of a test pump now and see how this inflates. And that's locked in place. There we go, inflated. Not quite up to the uh, full PSI, not for this test at home. Uh, I'll inflate it again when we get to the water. But yeah, let's have a quick look at the board. Now it's inflated. There we go. So, I like the little raised lip at the back on the standing platform if you're going that far back for some extreme turns <laughs> but yeah that's all nicely inflated nice and firm let's say it's not even up to the full psi there we go that's starting to look like a proper paddle board now isn't it so let's get the other bits and pieces there we have it's set up, the leash is attached. Um, I've also put the phone in the dry bag that came with. Obviously you wear that around your neck or put somewhere. Um, but the phone is actually operable, operable, operable or whatever through, uh, through the uh, cover there. So um, that's really useful, that's really handy. If you need to make a call, nice and easy to do so. And the paddle's all set up, easy to adjust the height. As with many others, you just undo this clip here and then the thing can expand appropriately. They even have a, a little reminder on the handle 
on how to uh, adjust the height. Um, I've got the fins in at the moment, um, just for this test. Um, and the back, and we'll try and get it back into the back in a minute, ready to take, um, ready to take on the water. I've also uh, just tried this utility belt. So yeah, I've got on this uh, utility belt, uh, which is padded all the way round, but it comes with extra cord carabiner clip that you clip and tie on in here to the anchor point on your paddleboard. So if for whatever reason someone needed um, extra attachments um, to the to the board not to go off missing, then this utility belt uh, provides that. But it's quick release um, here, so it's got a, a buckle adjustment on here and you can just quickly pull that and the thing comes off really quickly. So if anyone felt they were getting tangled up in uh, the lead, then it's a quick release there. There's also a quick release on the back here as well. Um, so um, another nice little bit of safety gear um, on there. Um, not bad little belt to put things in actually uh, as well. Um, but that's the, the, the quick release. So if you wanna have that to leash yourself to the paddleboard, but with a nice quick release mechanism, and um, you can do so. And the adjustment here is very straightforward. Just clips on, um, and there's plenty of, plenty here if you wanna adjust it down to size, or make it bigger as well. So yeah, so I think what I'm gonna try now is deflate and see how it all goes in the bag. There you have it. The uh, blue fin sup back in its bag, standing up on its two feet. So now I'm gonna try and fit it as a rucksack. So we're here just uh, doing a quick test on the river, um, pumping it up. So this one's all pumped up and the other one pumped up. I thought I'd just do a quick comparison. So here's the Bluefin Cruise um, sup and with the leash and the fins and the paddle. So um, from the unboxing, I didn't sort of I made it sure as I didn't know as much as, 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 as possible to try and uh, get my natural reaction. But yeah, so a little bit more details now. So, so this uh, quick release leash is for when on moving water. Um, I assume, I'm not spraying to proof about it, but I assume that way that if you needed something a bit further to get you away from the board and then quickly release from it in trouble, you can do as opposed to an ankle. Um, I suppose technically the river's moving water but it, here, but it's it's quite flat and calm. And the paddle here is actually fiberglass. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is just compare it to the existing sup we bought a while ago. So over here, here's a cheap sup we just got off of Amazon. And yeah, I've been now balloning it up down the river here, and it's been working okay. But now I've got, we've got the two side by side. The difference in quality is quite obvious. Um, the pump on this is, is quite basic. It, it keeps leaking air at the valve. So we actually have to use the bluefin pump, which is a lot better to pump this thing up because its own pump seems to be failing. Um, you also see it's got a single fin like that, plastic as opposed to 
these much more sturdier three fins more on there. The deck here as well is it has got a rubber deck. Um, but <laughs> now we see it, it's quite basic compared to this one on the bluefin paddle, um, which seems much more substantial. Um, also, you can notice a difference in thickness of the material compared to the two as well. So it's a, it's a, a relatively cheap one, um, and it's done okay, but compared to the, to the bluefin cruise, it's just got so much so much more going for it, a lot easier to inflate. In fact, although they're similar sized boards, this one inflated much quicker than that one that's still not quite inflated. Um, down to the pump as well probably, these bluefin pumps are much better. But yeah, so, so far, thumbs up on the bluefin board. Well it floats, um, it steers, it's quite stable. Um, so yeah, so far getting the thumbs up. Um, we're going to take it uh, upstream. Uh, we've got the two boards so I can film it and we can both go. Um, we're just going to go up the people river here for a bit of a paddle and test it out properly. First little expedition up the river and uh, very impressed with the bluefin cruise. Um, yeah, it's uh, very stable. Uh, well, stable for a sup. If you're not used to um, going on sups, then you might find them a little bit unstable. But yeah, I found it very stable. Um, change direction quite easily. I, I don't know where that's because the extra fins on there. Um, the, the dog preferred the other um, the other sub, and that's because the blue fin is quite narrow at the, the, the front, pointy bit, the bow. Um, so on the other one, uh, which is a little bit less uh, streamlined, um, she has more space to sit. <laughs> but um, otherwise, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. The um, paddle as well, um, I can notice the improvement with the paddle that comes with the blue fin sub. Um, so that worked really well too and uh, it's very lightweight too so you know plenty of hours on the river with that um, so yeah um, all in all very very good and uh, definitely gets the thumbs up so now it's time to deflate and get them back in the bag <laughs> 